Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first episode of Frog Talk. And in this episode, we're going to talk about will Pac-Man frogs and any other large frogs, will they eat frozen thawed and how to feed your frog. So I want to get started with talking about just what do Pac-Man frogs eat. When they're younger, they'll eat a lot of foods like crickets. Super worms. And roaches. And you And you can get roaches in a lot of different sizes. So as they're getting bigger, you can up the size of the roaches and stuff like that. But when they get to a frog this size, they're going to need some mice. You can start off with smaller mice and then go to a larger mice, depending on if the frog is a male or a female. Females get a lot bigger. I'll do an episode on uh, females and males and how to tell the difference and, and that kind of thing. But usually, generally, the males are a lot smaller than the females. So uh, they're going to need a little bit bigger prey. So with this frog today, I'm going to demonstrate how, you know, you basically you just try to replicate what a mouse or a rat would do, you know, in front of the frog and then hopefully entice the frog to eat. Usually you'll know right away, like if you get into the container, you know, into your enclosure and, and you have, they have the scent of the, of the rodent around or if they can see it, they'll start twitching their back legs like this. Check this out. And then, uh, so when they start doing that, you know that that's like a lure. When they do their feet like that and they're twitching, that's a lure to try to get the, the rodents to them or the bird or the lizard or anything like that. When, when a Pac-Man frog is pretty easy to feed, they'll eat just about anything. They just kind of wait there, something gets close to them, they just snatch it up. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit on uh, how to feed the frozen thought. The, this rodent is not alive. It's, you know, it's frozen thought or pre-killed. However you want to do it, some people will pre-kill their meals ahead of time. And then, you know, they'll usually pretty good temperature and then you can feed right away. And then you don't have to worry about it. But you do want your rodent to be at least a decent temperature of what the rodent would naturally be. So then, the, the you know, the animal will detect it a lot easier. So uh, I'm going to get one ready and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Here we go. All right, everybody. Before we start the feeding, I just want to let everybody know and show YouTube and everybody else that this rodent is not alive it is deceased like i said you either can do frozen thawed or pre-killed it's up to you so we'll get on to the video and we'll see if this guy's hungry all right everybody like i said we just want to try to replicate you know what the mouse is going to do run it up to the frog see if he's going to eat it we'll try a couple two three frogs the frogs may not eat we'll see what happens but uh, we'll try this one. So we got the old mouse. It's like. Well, of course, the star of the show doesn't look like he's hungry. So I'm going to eat one of them. And he may not eat. Frogs don't always eat. He ate last week, so maybe he's going to decide not to eat this week. So what we'll do is we'll go on and I'll try a couple other frogs and we'll get on with this video. No, he's not going to rest. You going to rest him, buddy? No. Alright, like I said, sometimes your frogs don't always eat. The bigger meals they eat, the longer it's going to be in between meals. So when you get larger frogs and you feed bigger meals, sometimes they may not eat. Just as long as your frog is healthy and he's doing good and all your temperatures and everything are right, you just move on to the next week and hopefully he'll eat next week. So we'll see what happens and we'll get on with this video.
All right, Crunch Gang, hopefully this video helped you. And remember, it doesn't matter if you feed insects, rodents, lizards, whatever. Just as long as you have a healthy frog and, you know, your frog's doing well, that's all that matters. Healthy animals are the key to all of this. So together, we're going to get healthier animals. And until the next episode, take care and stay wild.